Today, we are going to, to do a spoiler review for Avengers Infinity War. Spoilers. What's up, what's up, what's up? Boom, 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 what's up, what's up, fresh? Alright, yeah, you definitely should not be here if you haven't seen the movie. If you want a spoiler for your review, here it is. Go see it. Let's get into it. Alright, let's, yeah, let's what's your, what's your, what was your favorite part in the movie, you think? Favorite part? Yeah. Oh, man, that's hard. For me, one of them, like I told you on the way here, was uh, Chris Pratt. When he like, he, he did, like shoots the... Thanos or whatever, or like he throws the bomb on him, and afterwards he's like, "Fuck you!" And he like jumps in the portal. That's I was awesome. like, "That's like so Chris Pratt, or that's so Star Lord." I love it. I love the sarcasm. Yes, yeah. my my favorite part is definitely in that moment. It's yeah. where they're all teaming up: the Guardians, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Spider Man. When they're all teaming up to fight Thanos, that was cool, and they almost got the glove off. <laughs> Dude, that was intense. The reason I like that one so much is because there's a lot of complaints, like in the first and second Avengers movies, that they're fighting faceless armies or whatever. It's not compelling if it's just if one if a hundred of these characters can't beat one of the Avengers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and here we get this it's like we have one guy who's taking on like 10 avengers yeah they, and, he, and they're struggling and it's really awesome one like, thing i, I liked really about like that it. is it looked like a comic book like when i was oh, watching yeah. it i was like i feel like this is a comic book in live action like mm-hmm. i've only felt that way or like i feel that way in a in the movie more now mm-hmm. but it only in the beginning felt like that with the first avenger like when the first avengers came out and you mm-hmm. see them all together i'm like oh this kind of feels like a comic book panel and now it's like I get that every movie, and like yeah. that was one of those parts where I was like, "This looks like they're all fighting Thanos." <laughs> I'm like, "This is like a comic book panel right now." Uh, like, was, it's uh, too much going on. On the way back, I was uh, way back from the movie. I was thinking, "This is a trade back." You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you, you flip through some pages. It's a Thor. It starts off. It's a Thor movie. You mm-hmm. keep flipping through pages. It's an Avengers movie. Flipping through pages. It's a Guardians. movie I like now. what they did with yeah. Thor in this movie and you too. Keep on flipping. Now it's a Doctor. Str- now it's back to being an Avengers movie. Now it's a space movie. Like this is an epic in the yeah. the greatest sense of the word. This is a, yeah. this is a superhero epic. I think another big thing uh, involving the story that I like to talk about is the involvement of the Trinity. Like all these movies really evolve around the Trinity, which is Thor, Iron Man, Captain, Captain America. America. And I feel like last movie Captain America get his due. Iron Man gets his like you know big shine moment in the beginning and throughout, just because he's still kind of the leader. So I feel like this movie kind of focused more on Thor and his backstory. Mm-hmm. And I like how we can still get comedic Thor, like in the direction that uh, Thor Ragnarok was kind of going in. And we still get those moments, but we also get moments of a. Uh, where he's like super serious and I kind of I forgot when and then he says it like oh everyone I know is dead I know it's, it's like I don't have any like reason to be doing <laughs> it. I'm just doing this so like nobody else dies and it's like that's that was cool because we need those moments it perfects the the trinity it makes them more interesting all together when I see them all together like rewatching the old movies and then it makes me wonder they can't kill these characters because they <laughs> I mean like they can't like I don't think they're going to kill them at all watching this movie I was like you know what they're going to do they're just going to leave they're going to leave after Avengers 4 I think because they're like they, they're not gonna kill him, dude. Because they're too iconic and they're so good. And I feel like a riding off into the sunset and maybe a possible return or cameo to like night one of the next Young Avengers would be uh, more realistic for Kevin Feige. Because I feel like that's the type of like person he is. Like I don't think he's gonna just kill him off. I think there's definitely uh, ways for these guys to ride off into the sunset. Like Thor yeah. can go and rebuild Asgard as the king of Asgard. He won't be an yeah. Avenger anymore. You can depower Steve Rogers, throw him back in the '40s, and then you can have a Falcon or a Winter Soldier. Yeah, that's the other to, thing. Just be the next kind of guy. There's there's so a many bunch opportunities. Of ways. Yeah, there's so many ways that you could just replace them. Yeah, or, or, or keep, keep it going them. on yeah, with the new gen, them, yeah. with the new gen, yeah. and I think the possibilities are endless. And I'm so interested in Captain Marvel. That it, we, let's talk about the end credits. Yeah, <laughs> the end credits. We got Captain yeah. Marvel. It was really great. At first, I was like, "Yes, we're gonna get Nick Fury in the next movie," and then I was like, "No, we're not no. gonna get Nick Fury." And he movie. said, and he still kept it family friendly, but said, yeah. "Mother," <laughs> he <laughs> almost got his iconic mother cuss and word. father. I miss yeah. you. Is what he was gonna say. <laughs> No, but I'm sad. My girl Robin from How I Met Your Mother no. died. My bay. I was like, no, Robin, not, not Agent, <laughs> Agent Maria Hill. No, the most important pivotal part of the I MCU. Know. That's how I know they're gonna bring everyone back too. It's like they're not gonna keep Nick Fury dead. That's kind of dumb. It's Sam Jackson. He could be like the god. I'm tired Avengers. of all these Titans. <laughs> I'm all tired of all these motherfucking Avengers in this motherfucking town. Tired of all these superheroes. Where is my super super? <laughs> so Captain Marvel at the end, yeah. and Kevin Feige said in an interview that she's supposed to be the most powerful Avenger to date. 
my thing, or like the new power. My thing like, was like, you didn't want to call that when the Battle of New York was happening. Dude, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, <laughs> why, why does he have this on a pager? We're <laughs> fucking 2017 and this dude is paging this Bro, girl. Because but I think it's, it's Yeah, that's why though. I think that's when he probably got it when she gave it to yeah. him. And I also have a theory that in her movie, she probably is going to leave Earth at the end. Yeah, she and then Yeah, and then come back. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then come back for Avengers 4. Mm-hmm. And, and she's going to fuck gonna it up. She's going to take the fight. She's going to be powerful. And it's then gonna we're going to see her in gonna a classic be suit. Captain Marvel and Thor beating the shit out of Thanos. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because Thor, he was pretty cool in this too. I like the Stormbreak. I really like in this movie how they didn't treat the audience like idiots. They yeah. tra- they treated you like you knew something about each character. They didn't go and spend time giving a bunch of exposition, which is fu- good for me. And I think it's good for people who have followed these stories. You know, we deserve that much. You know, we've been yeah. watching these movies for 10 years. Don't treat us like idiots. Definitely. And it's like, yeah, you want to get get it to the broadest audience and that's okay. You know, because that's what you that's what you want to do. Because that's going to make you the most money. But guess what? Even casual moviegoers, they're not idiots. They'll figure it out. They're like, uh, you hate being in the movie theater with those people. Like, so who's that again? Hey, can we talk about another good cameo in this? Mm. Freaking Red Skull. Oh my god, that was the dude. The he had the most soul stone, thing. and it was on v- Vilmir or something. It was something with a V. It was like V I R M U R. That was the planet that they went to. That, that was crazy. Uh, we got fucking Red Skull back. That was. Yeah. I, I don't even know if it was Hugo Weaving. I don't know if it's. I don't think voice. it was him, but it's fine. no. I don't think so. But I don't even care. I'm glad that they addressed that. They just don't leave it unanswered. Like that's the coolest <laughs> thing, and it's over. Like people were overcomplicating who it was or who had the uh, soul stone Mm -hmm. and it's like it was for red skull it was like there in our face it was the first villain to die like come on where what are we doing you know what i just besides i would die you know what i just thought of uh how you know this movie had fan service like red skull being there that is fan service that is fan like it this movie was everything the last jedi wasn't yeah, the last like, uh, Jedi. Like, I don't mean to, I don't, I don't, don't want to bring up review. old shit, right? Because I like rather, <laughs> you know, I like The Last Jedi now. It didn't yeah. necessarily when I first watched it. But I like it a lot. It doesn't, it didn't age well. For like, me. I like it, but like, they're basically saying, hey, fans, fuck your theories, fuck that. And this one's like, hey, you remember how you guys made theories about Red Skull going off into space? Guess what he did? And here he is. He yeah. has the Soul Gem. Because remember yeah. how you guys all had your theories about Soul Gem? We had our own theory. <laughs> and like, and it was also good. It gave us that good feel like, oh my God, that was, we're never going to guess that. It was but cool. But it was still something it that paid off. Yeah, yeah, it's another little thing that connects the universe. It's a story. It's a, it rhymes. It's like poetry. It rhymes. It's just Kevin Feige doing his magic. I like it. I mean, he goes was... over there and he sprinkles a little foggy dust on yeah. it. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to just yes. talk about who's left? Yeah. So basically, so all the... everybody's dead except for they're like the original. Members. So so after he snapped the finger, yeah. all yeah. Besides, which the is original perfect Avengers, by the way. That's exactly how I wanted it to end. Uh, I thought the end was going to be a big punch out battle with Thanos and everybody, and I'm glad that it wasn't. I'm glad it actually ended on his finger snap, and I'm glad that there was consequences. Like, people, are, that's a big gripe everyone has about this movie. Oh, I never, never kill anybody. Even if we know they're coming back, yeah, I'm glad that it ended on the cliffhanger. And it, like, for people who don't know, like, my sister doesn't fucking read Infinity Gauntlet. Like, <laughs> she's gonna watch this shit and be like, oh, Spider Man's actually dead. Yeah, like, for a lot of people. And then Black Panther was another big one because it just came out. I and know. then they killed him off. Like, that is a big thing. Like, you can tell that they're trying to pull at you, they're trying to get you now. And I'm glad that they're actually, that's another thing that's like, I feel like it's fan service because everyone complains. They don't have good villains and they never really have real stakes. They always are going to be fine at the end of the day. Yeah. And this time they weren't. <laughs> Nobody was fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for real though, I love, yes, it ended on the finger set, but it really ended on yeah. Thanos sitting down, watching the sunset on a world at peace. Like a universal yeah. piece, and it was fucking crazy. Everybody, it was in our, Everybody in our theater was like, "What? That's it?" It, like, was, it was after, yeah, because there's a moment after he snaps when it's like there's like nothing. Yeah, yeah, and well, he's just like, like looking, in the lake. yeah, yeah, and he's just like looking, and it's like infinite, like there's just nothing around him. And then eventually, he there's just him sitting down, and it looks like he's all like messed up. Mm-hmm. After and the Infinity Gauntlet's fucked. Yeah. Or what's it? up with that? Yeah, like it was destroyed. Oh, it was a, yeah, it was all like messed up. He used up. it and it destroyed, so maybe th- he has to try and forge Ooh. another gauntlet, something like that. Yeah, I, it was interesting. Which is not going to happen. You know what I was thinking? fucking murdered everybody. I don't think he's going to snap it back. I think someone else is going to do it. Yeah, but So uh, I think how? they might forge another glove and maybe like Tony Stark, and he's going to snap everyone back. 
Well, the MVP for me is Thanos. Like, I've been really yeah. wanting a great villain. We've had so much build for this guy. Six years of build since we saw him sitting on mm. his chair and then another another chair and then standing up. Like, no, this is it. He was ready. He was on the forefront. We got a villain. Not that it was just, the, like, yeah. the embodim, embodiment of pure evil. Like, I'm going to do it because I can. He's doing it because he th- believes this is right. And then yeah. he's like, it's simple math. You need the, the earth, the universe is finite. We don't have a, a ton of resources. People keep procreating. Yeah, dude. like we need to cut it, cut them in half. And that's just someone needs to have the will to do it. And then my will's the strongest. And it was just amazing. Like his performance was really good. Yeah. Somehow, somehow you act like through CGI. Good job, Josh Brolin. Like yeah, I could, you could definitely see when he Unless was sad at certain. You could when you could see when he was sad at certain parts, like the Gamora part. I think he did a great job. I think he was a real villain. Every time he threw a punch, like I was scared for each Avenger's life. Well, you don't get that for every villain, and some of them do feel like very popcorn movie ish, and this one did not, and that mm-hmm. was very it was refreshing, you know. And I like there was moments where they showed him with like baby Gamora, and there was moments where you could tell they were trying to show that him his humility, and like he's not just like, you know, just like death, death. He's mm-hmm. like still a person you know and he still like kind of cares even though he's like crazy he kills and genocide you know it was super interesting it was an interesting dynamic yeah you know, this performance is comparable in my opinion to like Heath Ledger's Joker it's like so. that on that level in my opinion there was moments that they teased everyone's death mm-hmm. with Thor in the beginning and then when he fought Cap because he kept punching Cap over and then before when he stabbed Tony yeah that's so there they, they did tease everyone's death but none of them mm-hmm. like they're not they didn't. So that's how I know they're not going to kill him off in the next one. Going into the death, death parts when everyone starts disappearing, which I thought was great. Yeah. I, I actually prefer this than the way it happened in the comics. It happened all at once in the comics. And in this one, it was like one by one. So each time you saw like two people on screen, like you didn't know who was, which one was going to go. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was Definitely. very compelling. And yeah, that uh, was a good job. And I think the one that got me the most was my favorite Spider-Man. His was like, sad, it though. It was so... His was sad. He's like, oh, I don't feel so good. And then he started like, holding him, and he's like, I don't want to die. And you're he's just like, like and whoa. Then, and then Tony was just like, he had, he was powerless. Yeah, Tony, like, he just put him down, and then you see Spider-Man look super white, and then he just, like, starts to disappear. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. Ones that stuck out for me, like I said, was Bucky. Because we'd worked so long to get Bucky back. And then mm-hmm. he's the first one to start to disappear. And you're like, what, Bucky? And then uh, Black Panther. Because it was like we just had his movie and now he's gone. It was super interesting. But none of the originals. None of the uh, OG <laughs> They can't do it, dude. Cap, you're going to live on. You're going to live forever, kid. They're going to be at the end of Avengers 4. And then Cap and Iron Man are going to be the last two. And then be like, what are you guys doing? Laying down on the wire. And then like yeah. they go and they take Dennis down and everybody, they, they them two die. It would, and everybody else. It lives. would be it would be interesting. I don't want them to die. <laughs> I, don't I do want either. them to have a swan song together. Yeah. I really like the way they used Hulk in the beginning. It's, they just replaced him. He was a Silver Surfer character from the comic where he's like Thanos is coming. Perfect. Yeah, that whole thing. I like yeah. And they address questions like, oh, why can't the Hulk just fight Thanos? And that was like the first thing they showed. Got, the Hulk <laughs> fighting Thanos. Then what would happen? He and he can't. Aspie. Yeah, he can't do it. And I like and that then, they answer those questions. And Hulk right was away. scared the whole time. I, they didn't say yeah. it like in the in the movie. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think they ever but mentioned think why obvious. he wasn't coming out. But yeah, that's yeah. why. In case you're wondering, it's because the Hulk is scared. He doesn't. He's yeah. like been. He, now he has his own like consciousness now because he's he was the Hulk for two years. Right. So now he's like he, smarter Hulk. Yeah. So now he knows, like, I can't beat him. I'm not going to come out. And also, Hulk is like a child. Like, he doesn't want to get bit. He doesn't want to play yeah. if he's going to lose. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he, he's just scared. Exactly. All right, so what would you give this out of 10? A 9 Infinity Stones out of 10. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, there's more. Honestly, like, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Really? I've, I still, like I said, there's I know, still minor I know, plot things. I know that there's I can't. problems. Don't, yeah. you can hit me up in the comments. I know there's problems, yeah. but I can't see them through my nerd goggles, okay? Can't no, do. yeah. The good like, definitely like, outweighs. Especially for the first the viewing, there's no way I was going to think this movie was bad. <laughs> like, I mean, there could have been, unless like yeah. something sh- shitty happened in the whole thing. Oh, it was right. just like, but it, it was just everything I wanted it to be. There's a few things I would have changed, but that's nit- I, nitpicky stuff. Yeah. There, like, I could see how if you haven't watched all these movies, it's going to be very confusing. I could see how you wouldn't like Definitely. this if you don't like certain action movies. But guess what? This is me. This is this is my rating. It's ten out of ten. I'm. I will do it again. <laughs> ten out of ten. I'm going to see it again. 
Yeah, The Gid definitely always the best. It's a really good film for how many characters are in it. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think it's hard to pull off what they did. I think... So the, it, how good it is is a testament to how impressive the studio is. I think it's a very ambitious film, and I think this is what filmmakers had in mind when they first started creating movies. Yeah, definitely. The grandioseness of all the culmination oh, yeah. of all the characters. And also the continuation of that story with all the care, like it, it keeps going. It's not done. Like we're gonna, <laughs> no, the hype train is still idea. going. Like we're on our way. We're gonna finish it up. We're gonna yeah. give it a title for Avengers Four, and then we'll get out of here. A title? Oh man, I think that an interesting title would be like Avengers Forever, oh, because that nice. would be like the continuation of the generation and mm-hmm. the passing of the torch, kind of for like the new ones. And I feel like ultimately that's kind of where they're headed, anyways. But. That's that would be my title, Avengers I think Forever. Yeah. It's either Avengers Infinity Gauntlet, which is just the kind of standard one, but I think it might be Avengers Endgame. And that's what Doctor Strange is like. We're in the end game now. That's it. Let <laughs> us know it. what you guys think of this movie yeah. down in the comments. Uh, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter at New World Nerds. That's all we got for you today, folks. <laughs> Keep learning out there, true believers. Stay classy, guy. Good, 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 good. Ballin'. I'm gonna do a wonky beat. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Fresh. <laughs>